Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Zaku News here on the USA Gundam TV channel. Today is July 28th and we've got some news to talk about. It's mostly P-Bandai stuff unfortunately on the Gunpla side, but non-Gunpla stuff, we have a new uh, totally original mecha series that's coming out that I figure we might as well talk about in this series as well too, even though it's not Gunpla. It's basically in the same genre, so let's talk about it. It's Kyokai Senki is the name of the series, which I, I guess basically translates to border or boundary war machine, basically. It's not really a, a official translation of it that I've seen released yet, but you can go into Bandai's official YouTube channel and see like the short preview animation there of Kyokai Senki. We also have the announcement of the first eight Kits in the line, seven new HD kits and one new figureized standard kit that are going to be coming out uh, as the first set of kits in there. I'm sure that won't be the last. I'm sure we'll probably have some more as the series continues. Uh, but just on a really quick note that they're bringing back Ken Okuyama, who was the designer, uh, like kind of special guest designer that worked on the G40 Gundam. So I guess he's been brought back to work on some of the mecha designs. Uh, as well as kind of an all-star team of Ebikawa Ipe and Teraoka, who are the designers from Gundam 00, uh, Iron Blood Orphans, and Build Fighters, respectively. So, all right, get, let's get into the kits. The, the kits are HG 170 second scale HG kits, so they're not going to be in the same scale as Gundam HG kits, which are 144 scale, but I'm guessing they are going to be roughly about the same size as those, as we can tell, just by, just by looking at them and based on the price tag of these. So the first one here is, I'm gonna go in order of when these are set to be released, by the way. So the first one is coming out in September, uh, which is the HG Meles Byakuchi. I'm guessing that's Meles, but I'm not exactly sure exact, uh, how the pronunciation is for those yet, but I, I haven't looked at it in Japanese, but I guess it's probably Meles Byakuchi which is in this kind of like dull blue color scheme, but it's got uh, some pretty cool weapons, and that's the thing with all of them. They all have some pretty interesting weapons, and they're all kind of uh, like a different type. So one is like the long range type, one is the close combat type, and one is kind of the standard type. So you'll see that kind of uh, theme going with some of these mecha designs. But they have very interesting designs, I gotta say. I'm not sure I'm totally in love with it yet, but I think, I think once I get to try building some of these, I think I'm going to really enjoy them. But they look very interesting, so I don't know. They have this kind of look to them that they are like all fold up in a very interesting way, but it's just part of like how they're meant to be articulated, I guess, like in universe. But it's quite an interesting take on the mecha designs. I don't know if I've ever seen anything really quite like that. I mean, of course, it just looks like a large humanoid mecha, but they do look pretty cool. Then the next one coming out is the HG Meles Kembu coming out in October, the next month, for 2400 yen. This seems to be like the main suit from the series, the one that's in like kind of all the promotional materials and everything. So this one comes with like an assault rifle style weapon as well as a sword. So I'm guessing this is going to be kind of your like, you're usually the main character is kind of like the general purpose one. So this one seems to be kind of fitting that role. And one thing that they're also really showing off about these in a lot of the promotional images and stuff so far is just the articulation of them. So they look like they're very nicely articulated. And again, if Ken Okagama is involved, and if you remember from the G40 Gundam, that was kind of one of the main things about the G40 Gundam, whether you like the design or not. Uh, the articulation going into it, the engineering was quite interesting uh, that all went into that. So if they're bringing anything like that, even though I'm sure it's going to be a little bit more simplified, but bringing that into these kits, uh, they should be very great and a lot of fun to pose, so those will be really fun. Next one is the HG Bunyip Boomerang, coming out in October as well for 2400 yen. This one, I'm guessing probably the enemy grunt suit is, as it appears to be. Very cool design with this one as well too, how the head and arms kind of tuck into it and it basically becomes just like a two-legged walker, kind of reminds me of like the geckos in Metal Gear Solid 4. So it's a really interesting design. You can see how it kind of sits down and then it's got these little clear parts there on the back to help it stand up because the feet look kind of uh, a little bit wonky. How I can see how they would make sense maybe in universe, but as for like the actual kit, you know, without actual mechanics inside there, those feet might be a little, giving you a little bit of trouble. So it's cool that you have little clear parts there on the back of the feet to kind of help that stand up. But these look really nice. And the one thing that I'm wondering about too is how uh, sticker heavy they're going to be. For the most part, they look like they're pretty well color separated. I'm sure they're probably just going to be mostly stickers for like the eyes, but at least on like the, some of them, they look like they have clear parts in the heads. Uh, this one though in particular, I'm thinking probably going to be stickers for the eyes, but of course we'll have to see. I mean the eye, cameras, I guess. They're not really eyes, necessarily. Next one is the Malus Jogan. Jogan? You got it, Jogan. Jogan. Yes. Out in November, now in November, uh, for 2400 yen. 
This one obviously going to be our long range type, and it's got that big massive uh, long gun, which I'm guessing is like a sniper rifle, rail gun sort of looking thing. Uh, and then it also does have a little knife tucked up in the shoulder armor, a shoulder shield there as well too, for if it needs like emergency close combat weaponry. So it's got there in there as well. This one looks very cool. This one's gonna be a lot of fun. It's got like the little uh, kind of stabilizers that come out of the back skirt. To, so when it's kneeling doing the sniping pose, it's got those like out the back. So very kind of realistic in that sense. Then also out in November is the HG Extra Large Armor Special Carrier. <laughs> a bit of a mouthful. But that one, this one's gonna be a little bit more expensive, uh, 3,000 yen, but as you can see, it's just basically this massive truck, massive like semi-truck for carrying the, uh, what, what would they be called? I don't know, the mechas in, let's just say. I don't wanna say mobile suits, cause it's not Gundam, but whatever they're called, they're gonna be carried in this truck. So that looks really cool. I mean, the kit itself, I'm guessing gonna be relatively simple, not a ton of parts going into that, but you, this one definitely does have some clear parts for like the front like windshield, windows, uh, for like the headlights on the fronts. So you'll be able to open that up. And this will be great for doing like little dioramas or something with these. So if you want to have a diorama with the truck carrying that or with it kind of like stepping out of the truck or something, I think this one will be a lot of fun. Albeit, again, like pretty simple but large. And it'll be fun to kind of just play around with with the kits for setting up some scenes and things like that. Next one now out in December is going to be the HG Melis Reiki. And this one seems to be our close combat type as it's got this kind of like staff sword weapon, it looks to be kind of its main weapon. We don't have a lot of images for this one yet, just these two images front and back standing. Uh, so we don't really know what else is gonna be involved with this. It looks like that big massive back skirt is probably also going to be doing something else as well too. So I'm looking forward to seeing some more about this. I really like the colors though, that uh, white and kind of pale yellow -ish, slightly greenish kind of color on that it does look very cool. So I'm looking forward to checking this one out, seeing some more images about this. And it's just cool that uh, the different designs have like different intended purposes as you can see like just based on the weaponry and things they have the uh, armaments that they're outfitted with so it's really interesting i like it and the last one here is the hd amine ghost so this one we don't really have too much to go off of just this one shadowy image but obviously this looks to be kind of like our main antagonist of the series it's all dark and it's got the evil claws and on the feet as well too and the red glowing eyes so definitely going to be a bad guy and eh, I don't know we'll see how it looks you can't really tell too much off of the imagery so far but this one as well going to be 2800 yen so a little bit more expensive for that one as well so maybe that one's also going to come with a little bit more stuff or something I don't know or maybe it's going to be a little bit larger I don't know we'll see the last thing then is the figure eyes standard Shiobe Zion I'm guessing if that's some sort of like tilt of the hat to Gundam with her last name being Xeon, I don't know. But this one's out in December as well uh, for 3300 yen. We don't have any images of what the kit is gonna look like yet. We just have the character and our character illustration there. And it looks like it's going to also come with this sort of like little cute little kind of, I guess the Haro of the series, basically this little kind of cute thing is I think going to be a part of this kit as well. So we'll see more about that. The character illustration I and mean, the character design looks pretty interesting. So I think that one will be a pretty cool figure eyes standard kit once that is out. But all right, so that is the new series. Uh, what do you guys think about that Kyokai Senki? I think it looks pretty interesting. The mecha designs are very unique, uh, but I think it's gonna be a fun series. I'm really looking forward to just checking out the kits really. That's the thing I'm most excited for. But what do you guys think about that? Are you looking forward to the kits, the anime, both? or one or the other, let me know in the comments below. Let's move into some Gunpla stuff then. First off, a couple of Gundam base exclusives out this month. We've got the 148 scale Gundam Unicorn and Banshee head display base psycho frame color variation version uh, for 1500 yen. So interesting to note that this one, as far as I can tell, looks like it comes with two head displays in there. So you have the Banshee and the Unicorn and uh, psycho frame parts to make the psycho frame either in red, green, or blue. So you'll have all of those, and I'm guessing that would also include like for the Banshee as well. You also have orange in there for the Banshee. So if all the parts are, the, if all like the psycho frame runners are the same, giving you the Banshee's V-fin, because the Banshee's V-fin, for whatever reason, is in a clear psycho frame kind of part, even though like Banshee's V-fin is not a psycho frame part, as far as I know. It's usually just black and gold, right? So definitely we'll have to paint that. But the, anyway, the main thing is that you've got the Banshee and the Unicorn in there and four different options for the psycho frame, psycho frame color for that. So these are really great for your RG kits, your HG kits. I don't think you'd be able to put a Master Grade on there. Uh, it would be very heavy. You could maybe jerry-rig it, but it'd be kind of dangerous to do that. But it's a cool set, so I, I, would, I would like to get my hands on that set. Those are really nice. 
other thing from the Gundam base is the RG New Gundam Heavy Weapon System version, a uh, clear color version of that that's coming out this month for 6,000 yen. So it's just uh, basically mechanical clear, like we've already seen with the Master Grade Verka. Uh, there's a mechanical clear color version of that, but it's just mechanical clear. There's no color really to it, but the Heavy Weapon System parts are kind of like sparkly clear. Anyway, for this, basically the inner frame is opaque, just like metallic color, like gunmetal kind of color, gray. And then all of the armor and everything and the heavy weapon system parts and all that are all in clear color. So yeah, looks pretty cool, pretty interesting. Now getting into the P Bandai stuff, of course the main thing that everyone was very excited for was the Premium Bandai Master Grade Tall Geese Flugel. Finally they're going to make one after many many people have already just made this on their own. Uh, now Bandai is finally coming out with a kit and I will say I'm personally very glad that they're using the Master Grade instead of the Real Grade for this because I just much prefer it as a Master Grade. Uh, but they could have also made it as a Real Grade and they could very well still make it as a Real Grade at some point in time but I kind of doubt it. I think they'll probably just will stick with the Master Grade. Anyway this is out in October for 6,000 yen. Obviously it's a combination of the Master Grade Tall Geese and the wings from from the new Wing Gundam Verka, and then it's got uh, new weapons parts. It's got the Lance weapon, the Halberd weapon, and then it's also got a new fin for the Talaki's head as well too. So very cool design. Uh, I am hoping to build that, but uh, yeah, that's been selling out very fast everywhere. So get your hands on that as soon as possible if you want to have that kit. The P Bandai Master Grade Maneuver Striker Pack for the Eclipse Gundam. This was something we already saw teased earlier, but now we're getting some more information about that and we can see some more images of it. This is going to be out in November for 3,000 yen. It's very spiky. I say it's like a build your own GBWC entry or something right there, as uh, Josh and I were discussing that. Uh, so this is made for the Eclipse Gundam, but I'm guessing this is probably going to be compatible with like the Strike RM but I don't know for sure. As far as I've seen, they've only really advertised this with the Eclipse Gundam, but I don't know what else it's going to be compatible with or not. It's, uh, yeah, it's wild, it's interesting, it's very spiky, very detailed, uh, so it's going to be quite the backpack, definitely. And for 3,000 yen, for the list price of that anyway, uh, is not a bad price, so that's not too bad for what looks like probably a lot of plastic going into that, so that's pretty cool. Next, the P Bandai RG High New Gundam Hyper Mega Bazooka Launcher. Uh, we don't have a price or release date set for this, but I'm guessing this one's probably also going to be around 3,000 yen or something for this. Even though it's just the weapon, there's a lot of plastic there. It's a very huge weapon. So obviously the RG High New at this point in time is not even released yet, but we already have this announced for it. And then I'm sure at some point in time they're going to announce a heavy weapon system part set for that as well too. So if you want to go like fully loaded High New Gundam, uh, you should be able to do that with the heavy weapon system parts someday in the future. And this Hyper Mega Bazooka Launcher is going to be pretty insane. I love this weapon. It's super cool. It's ridiculously gigantic. And it comes with a wire that plugs into some like uh, energy generators specifically for the gun. So it's, it's pretty wild. It's very cool. I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to seeing some more information about that. I'm sure probably within the next couple of months we'll see some more about that. That'll be probably out at the beginning of next year, I would assume. But uh, then another couple of new announcements. We got a couple of new P Bandai HD00 kits announced. The Gundam Harut Final Battle version and the Gundam uh, Zabanya Final Battle version. So both of these are coming out in December. The Harut is coming out for 2700 yen. The Zabanya is coming out for 2500 yen. Not really sure why these are suddenly coming out. Kind of seems in the middle of nowhere or out of nowhere that they've just announced these. But uh, better late than never, I personally really like the design of the final battle version of the Harut. So it looks like both of these unfortunately don't come with very many effect parts for them. So you might want to pick up some like custom effect parts to go with these to like really display them at their fullest because uh, the Harut I think comes with the two like little bit things that fly around with that and the Zambanya obviously has a lot of different parts and stuff that fly around and like without a, a bunch of different like effect stands for that then you're not really going to be able to do a whole lot with all those but uh, I think it's going to be a bit of a mess to try to pose that with every single piece on its own kind of stand it's going to be crazy but you can get creative with it anyway it looks cool either way so both of those designs are going to be coming out as Pibanda HD kits in December. From the Gundam Build Real Project uh, videos, also online on Bandai's official YouTube channel, there is the P Bandai RG Arc 78's 2 Gundam Team Bright Custom, and also the P Bandai RG High Mobility Type Zaku 2 Team Monster Custom. These are both coming out in November for uh, 3,000 yen for the Gundam, 3,500 yen for the Zaku, uh, because it looks like the Gundam is basically just a recolor. 
as far as I can tell. I don't think there's really anything uh, different about the molding of this. And so you would think, well, why is the price more expensive when originally the kit was 2,500 yen, now it's 3,000 yen? I am not sure, but I would guess that the reason is because they had to split up the runners. So that you're getting more plastic in the box, even though you're building the same kit. But in order to color it this way, they had to give you like two of the B runner. You had to give you one blue one and one white one, for example. Whereas with the original kit, it was just one white runner. So that would be my guess. Although definitely guys, correct me if I'm wrong about that. But that's what I would assume is the reason for the price increase for this particular version. Obviously, you guys are going to say it's because it's P Bandai. But the P Bandai price is, uh, if it's the exact same kit, then the kit should cost the same as the original one if it's just recolor for example if you look at like clear color versions of kits uh they usually cost exactly the same as the original version um as for the zaku it does come with some new parts at least for the head so you got that on there and it's obviously in shar color so it's pretty cool to see a uh, shar colored uh, high mobility type zaku too as he never had one of those so that's kind of interesting all right, the last thing here then is the P Bandai HGUC Gundam F91 Vital Unit 1 and 2. So this is a set of both of those for a very affordable 2,900 yen for this out in October. So it's basically, again, just kind of recolors of the F91. Uh, so you have all the different weapons and accessories and stuff. I think the weapons are a little bit different in that you have a little bit different like kind of camera on the beam rifle. I think that's new for these versions. And as far as like the main bodies, I don't think there's anything really new about them. They're just differently colored. I do really love the new colors of those though. The all white kind of color scheme and just a little bit of red on one and a little bit of blue on the other one is very nice. So those look very, very fresh, very fancy. I like those. So those will be gonna be coming out uh, pretty soon and those look very cool. Last thing to talk about then today is going to be a couple of entry grade related things. So we have the full weapon set version of the entry grade RX-78 II Gundam coming out in December for a whopping 1,000 yen. That's right, just 10 bucks for that. And it's basically just the same uh, entry grade Gundam as we've seen before, but it just comes with some more stuff. So if you remember, the light version of the kit originally came with no shield, no beam rifle, but if you got the uh, box version, it came with the shield, came with a beam rifle, but no beam saber effect parts. So this one comes with the addition of beam saber effect parts, the Gundam Hammer, which is on the chain, is a fixed pose, unfortunately. Uh, comes with the Beam Javelin, which the beam part is unfortunately not a beam effect, but just a kind of solid part, so you'll definitely have to paint that as well, too. And it also comes with a bazooka, which is cool. So you got some more weapons in there uh, to make a pretty cool full weapon set version of the entry grade RX-782 for 1,000 yen. I still say for 1,000 yen, I would... In my opinion, you're still, I think, probably at that price point, then better off just going for the revive version of the arc 78s too you won't have the beam javelin or the gundam hammer but those are probably the weakest point of this particular kit anyway you've got some options for yourself last thing are a couple of more uh, entry grade round boxes so making round box uh, versions of the strike gundam so they're releasing it as a strike rouge so it's just a recolored version of the entry grade strike gundam and then another new version of the arc 78s too coming out is the snow image color version as you can see it's like bluish blue and white kind of snow colors so these are coming out in october for 1500 yen the reason for the price increase for these is because of the packaging for ones just in these round boxes so you can see that that's the artwork that goes around the box so you got some cool artwork on there and if you take it apart you can like put that up on your wall or something that could be cool and also they package like some snacks in there and honestly it's like a dollar's worth of snacks so uh these are kind of overpriced honestly for what's in there but just like for the novelty of it or especially if you're giving it giving it to someone like as a gift or something they make some pretty cool sets i did a review of the round box of one of the original round box releases of the arc 72 gundam they were first released it in two different colors um like kind of metallic and a kind of like a red watermelon kind of looking color scheme as well too so uh, you can check that out if you're interested in seeing what's that what that's all about i did a review uh back when but that's it for today guys so we got the new series that looks very cool very interesting and also a bunch of new peep and i stuff on the way uh but there is a lot of really exciting stuff on the way still. We've got the high new RG coming out. We've got the Virtue still coming out towards the end of the year. A lot of other stuff in between. So what are you guys most excited for? What are you looking forward to uh, for the second half of 2021? Let me know down in the comments section below. And of course, guys, thanks so much for your support uh, at USA Gundam Store. Link to USA Gundam Store will be down in the video description for you guys to go down there and check out everything on the site. If there's something coming out they're interested in, you know, definitely get your pre-orders in for that. So until next time, guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for your support. See y'all later. Bye-bye.